Hello, my name's Laura and I work here at Cats Protection in Hazelmere. Our charity are looking after its staff so that we can take the best care of the cats in our care here at the shelter. This is Tuco and he's a big friendly giant. He's got a very loud purr and he loves a cuddle. And he's here with me and today, I um, haven't got a story today, I've been asked some questions um, and I'm going to answer those questions for you today. Um, so, let's have a look at the questions. So the first question comes from Hugo and Hugo asks, how many kittens have you looked after since you started your job? And how many kittens have been born at the shelter since you started your job? Um, so I had to look this up because um, I couldn't remember them all. I started my job here in December 2014. And in that time, I've looked after 522 kittens. Um, and 113 of those were born here at the shelter. So the next question comes from Lizzie. And Lizzie's question is, when do you trim kittens' claws? So the answer is that you shouldn't need to trim a kitten's claws. Once kittens grow big enough to start running around, um, you can give them a scratching post or a mat. Um, and they'll usually use that to keep their, their claws in top condition. Um, they do have very sharp claws when they're kittens. Um, it is just the way they are. There's nothing you need to do about it. Um, I did one time foster a litter of five kittens and uh, they like to climb up me. Um, they climb up my legs and sit on my shoulders and all sorts. Uh, one time I did make the mistake of going in to see them in their room while I was still wearing my pyjamas and um, they did have very sharp claws, so I only made that mistake once. Um, after that I made sure I was uh, wearing jeans and a denim jacket to go in and see them. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're meant to be sharp, um, they need them for climbing. Uh, so Sarah has asked, do you have everything you need for the cats? Um, so actually we do have most of the things that we need at the moment, um, um, luckily. So people have been really generous. Um, there are a few things we still need for the running of the centre. Um, so what I'll do is I'll link to our Amazon wish list uh, in the description of this video. And if um, there's anything you'd like to send us, um, we'd be very grateful. So Alice has asked, why does my cat eat everything? I feed him everything he needs, but he even steals from the cupboards and from our neighbours. Um, so we often find that if a cat has been a stray cat in the past, they can be a bit food obsessed because they haven't learned to trust that there will be more food coming soon. So I don't know if that may be the case for your cat, um, but he does sound really quite extreme. Um, it would be worth having him checked over by a vet once things are all back to normal because there are some health issues that, uh, that can cause this. In the meantime, um, you could try using some puzzle feeders to get him to work a bit harder for his food and keep him entertained for longer. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on puzzle feeders, although you can if you want to. Um, there are some good ideas on the Cats Protection website for some uh, puzzle feeders that you can make at home. So um, I will put a link to that as well in the description for you. And I hope that could um, help to ease the problem a bit. Um, and Alice also asks, how can I help my cat feel less scared of my child? Um, so there are a few things you can do to give your cat some places to go uh, where he'll feel safe. Um, it's well known that cats love boxes and uh, one thing you can do is cut a hole in the side of a box, um, just a cardboard box, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. If you put the blanket or towel inside, and make it nice and cosy for your cat and um, he could go in there and uh, hide away. And you could actually turn the entrance to the side rather than the front and that will help him feel really hidden away. Um, and just make sure that your child knows that this is the cat space. We don't put our hands in there. It's very much a space that he can go and um, that he won't be disturbed. Uh, you could also try giving him somewhere high up because height often really helps them feel safe. If there's somewhere he likes to go already, you could put some blankets up there to make it more cosy for him. 
or you could get him a nice big cat climbing post and he can sit on the top of it. Um, and again, it's, it's very much about just giving your cat spaces where he can feel safe and that he'll know that no one will bother him there. Um, and hopefully that will just help him feel safer and more comfortable around your child. So the next question comes from Daniel and he's asked, what does a cat use their whiskers for? So whiskers help a cat feel what's going on around them. They can use their whiskers to test whether their body will fit through a gap. Because um, I don't know if you can see Tuco's whiskers here, I don't think he wants to show you. But they, they come out to his sides and they're much wider than his face and they're about the same width as his body. So um, he'd be able to poke his head into a gap, see whether his whiskers hit the side to work out whether he'll fit through. Um, they can also use them to help find their way around in the dark when it's too dark to see. Um, but the, the big thing that they help with is close-up vision. So cats have excellent vision for things far away, but they actually can't see very well things which are close up. So they use their whiskers to help find their food or anything that's close to their face because they, they just can't see um, not, not the things that are close. Um, so Daniel's other question are, um, if cats are nocturnal, where do they go at night? Um, so cats are more active um, at dawn and dusk, so that's when it's starting to get light in the mornings and when it's getting dark in the evening, um, but when it's still not quite dark. So this is why they sometimes wake us up in the night, so they might be playing loudly or they might be running around the house. Um, so some cats, they like to go off hunting at night time, but actually at Cats Protection we think it's safest to lock your cat indoors at night time and that will help keep your cats safe, keep them away from any busy roads or from any um, animals like foxes or badgers or, or other cats that they might get into fights with. Um, and it will also help them, uh, well it will stop them hunting as much as they, they might like to. Um, they, they do soon learn uh, the new routine and they'll start to sleep at night and then play with us more during the day. And the last question comes from Megan and Megan's question is why are my cats so perfect and I think they probably wonder the same about you I'm sure they love you very much too so thank you for all your questions you've sent in I look forward to doing another Q&A session soon so do send in any other questions you've got about cats for me to answer okay thank you very much bye for now